Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, the site of the 2024 Thumbtack Sunshine Slam. And it is time to crown a champion as the Clemson Tigers from the ACC battle the undefeated Penn State Nittany Lions from the Big Ten Conference. Both of these teams took care of Fordham and San Francisco yesterday, and less than 24 hours later, they are about to go to battle here at the Ocean Center for 40 minutes of what will be fantastic. It's Lockin and Conan Niederhauser. For the tip, advantage Penn State, and we're off and running. Time to crown a champion in Daytona Beach. So two very good teams that should be in the NCAA tournament, but very different styles of play. Clemson does not mind playing slow. Penn State, right out of the gate, they don't mind playing fast at all. Ace Baldwin to Yannick Conan Niederhauser, drawn up with perfection. This is a big time matchup here. Ace Baldwin versus Chase Hunter. Baldwin's one of, if not the best, on-ball defender in the country, reigning Big Ten Player of the Year. The last time these two teams met was a couple of years ago at Clemson. It was a thriller. 101-90 leading Penn State. He has seven NCAA tournament appearances in his career. Two wins over top 10, top 15 teams a year ago. As Chauncey Wiggins evens things up at two. A couple of great guys manning the sidelines as well. Got a chance to catch up with each coach as Zach Hicks finger rolls one. Cut from Zach Hicks. It's called a 45 cut because you're cutting at a 45 degree angle when you uh, sparse out the court. Here's Shefflin. Back towards the basket, facing a triple team. Fade away, no problem. So good. Possession changed just quickly enough for that uh, shot clock to reset. Intercepted from Conan Niederhauser. Going back Clemson's way. Here's Shefflin, kicks out. Open Chauncey Wiggins, kaboom! And he stares down the Penn State bench. State's roster to Marco Dunn. He's on the floor with number five in white, Puff Johnson, who played in that final four a couple of years ago. Nice feed and finish. That's the big man, Kachi Enza, transfer from being active on the offensive end in the first five minutes here. Jaden Zachary, a transfer from Boston College. Wiggins, patient, and gets his defender to jump. Perfect word from you, Jake. That one, too strong. And here comes Ace Baldwin, inside, what a move! The finger roll at the rack for Nick Kern. The eyes, the patience, and semi-transition from Ace Baldwin, just fantastic. Kern is a electrifying athlete in the open floor. Coming off that first career double-double for the senior from St. Louis, one of two players who came to Penn State. Oh, man, he wins. So good. Coach Rose as Ian Chef. Rose is in the process of building that kind of culture. Five seconds to shoot here. Does Puff Johnson realize it? Takes it with authority and uses the window to his advantage. Veteran play from the transfer from North Carolina. As Hunter is fouled on the other end. That crossover is filthy. Make those kinds of shots when you things aren't going well offensively. The total opposite of what Clemson is used to doing on the defensive end, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's just in the country. Ace Baldwin's three in and out. Yeah, that's part of the chess match that will be interesting to watch as this game develops. It's been a defensive battle so far. Oh, I love that. Dell Jones, the freshman. Intelligent play. Simple play, but an intelligent play. Here's Shefflin. Drives inside. Hook shot good. <laughs> Big time. Can't stop it. You just can't stop. Too smooth. Too efficient. He's got six. Clemson leads by seven. Conan Niederhauser is fouled. Hearing some words from his coaching staff as Conan Niederhauser misses on CBS Sports Network. Hard to believe it's already the final week. Penn State defended that Zoom action very well. 
Ace Baldwin still looking to cook on the scoring end. He does have four assists. Watch Clemson if they're not switching their fight. Oh! oh. Got it! Conan Niederhauser! And Hicks comes up with the board for Penn State. Could that slam lead to some momentum? Hicks thought about it. Cross court feed. Dillion cashes in. One point game. Hicks has it for the Nittany Lions. They've scored six straight. Nice one handed grab by Nick Kern for Penn State. Now it's Ace Baldwin. Lobs one up. A finger roll to the bottom of the basket for Nick Kern. Not only are they scoring, they've held Clemson to a scoring drought that's lasted over four minutes. The Tigers have missed five straight from the floor. Let's see if they can change that and take the lead back. Wiggins says yes, sir. How about the pocket pass from Jones? That was smooth. Just the freshman. Four-star point guard, Dillion. And these two teams are trading blows as there's a foul under the basket. block in the low post have to adjust how you're playing defensively and offensively the game within the game so the jumper is good and now Puff Johnson oh that might have been an own goal for Clemson they'll give it to Puff Johnson though that was such a great pass another great pass from Ace Baldwin he's got five assists that should have been six Shefflin knotted up with Puff Johnson, who is called for the foul. Season high, 18 points in the win over San Francisco. Here on CBS Sports Network, coverage begins at 2 Eastern and stream every match live on Paramount+. Plus. It's a great read by you, Jake. And then it's just you going back to Ian Shefflin. He's so good at doing work early in the post. All great post players get the job done early before the ball even gets there. Conan Niederhauser. He's averaging 8 to 10 points a game off of majority plays like that. Takes pressure off Zach. Kicks Nick Kern, Ace Baldwin. And this is another reach and foul on Penn State. It's going to go against Chase so far this season. Number 14 in white has not missed the beat as Hunter misses the front end. Lob, Niederhauser! Yannick Coden Niederhauser! On. All eyes on Coden Niederhauser right now. He's got nine. The big fella going to work again. Flips it to the other side. Four straight made field goals for Penn State. It's their largest lead of the game. Zachary for three. That is huge to end the run. Shefflin trying to cook something up. Nice feed to the freshman Jones. Oh, yeah! To back threes for Clemson in the blink. Baldwin flips it to Dillion. Can't get the bounce. Clemson takes back over. Back to back threes for the Tigers. Can they make a third? Hunter swings it in. College basketball. Jones played at Arizona Compass Academy. Got a bright future for Clemson. Coach Brown now highlighted how he can excel in the open court by attacking the paint. That's so good. As That's so good from Ace Baldwin. It takes it as nails. Trying to shake that off as he makes his first free throw. The best free throw shooter on the leaderboard in the Big Ten in multiple categories. Six assists so far. Those are actually his first two points of the game. Clemson got really lucky there because this is the patented Penn State press. Jones oh. flips it in. 
Every point guard in the country needs to have a floater in his bag. What did I just say? That quote from Coach Brownell. Excels in the open court by attacking the paint. There you go. Open court attacks the paint. Some Penn State Nittany Lions. See him taking shots right now. Getting hit hard, falling on the floor. Pop him if he wants to, but he'd rather have 12 assists on the box score. Well, right now, he's got six assists in this first half. It's a good example. He's, he hasn't made a shot. He's 0 for 2. He's just had made four free throws. We're tied at 32 with under two minutes to go in what has been a magnificent first half of college basketball. This is what Thanksgiving week is all about. Oh, what a move. Chase Hunter, the veteran leader on this Tiger team. That's so good. Conan Niederhauser. This man is doing it all inside. He's got 11. The only player in double figures on either end in this first half. Shefflin. Zachary, back to the chef. Back towards Niederhauser. Doesn't have the size, does not matter. Elite basketball, DeMarco Dunn. Too much. Shefflin, baseline jumper. He can do it all. Does not matter where it is on the court. He can score. Shefflin's got 12 points and five assists. It's just the first half. Averaging 13 points and 11 assists per game as Ace Baldwin makes his first field goal of the well, game. We've got uh, player development clinics right now going on. This is awesome. Shot clock off, 15 to play. Clemson holding for one last shot with a two-point lead in this first half. Zachary with five to go. Wiggins with three. Deep straightaway three is short, and that ends an awesome 20 minutes of college basketball here in Daytona Beach, where they have their Clemson grit mantra. In fact, Yannick Conan Niederhauser knows a thing about Gray. Pumps the brakes. That Penn State guarded floppy action really well. Shefflin denied by Conan Niederhauser. It is tough to score over that big man. Seven feet, 250 pounds. That's his second block of the afternoon. Shefflin with a rare time. Manning this offense. Not on the same page there, Dillion and his Nittany Lion teammate. Wide open, Chase Hunter. Yes, sir. His three-point shot is such an improvement from last season. He shot. Kona Niederhauser. Dominant on both ends. Was not on the same page as Ace Baldwin there. Here comes Clemson downhill. Wiggins finishes. Counted and the foul. And today, averaging eight per game, can't finish the three-point play. Penn State's missed their last four field goals. They have four turnovers in the last three minutes as well. Baldwin, tough shot, heads to the line. Free throw shooter, over 88% from the line. Automatically then set up in their full court press, which is when they're the most potent. So in this tournament, Ace Baldwin is 14 for 14 at the line, and we once again have a one possession game. Nice feed. And Dylan Hunter will head coming off the first two double digit scoring game a couple of years ago. And that's something that Mike, you wanted to highlight at some point throughout our broadcast to celebrate. He wasn't just good, he was the best three point shooter in the history of the program from a single season perspective. And on the season, Clemson's shooting 39% as a team from three. And that's going to win you a lot of games. Wiggins from three, right on cue. Senior, averages almost 16 a game. Very dynamic, efficient score for the Nittany Lions. Baldwin pulls up for three. That is massive. Cuts the deficit to four. Shefflin against the double team. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He did not give up on the play. Mr. Grit himself. A play by Shefflin. The freshman Dell Jones can't cash in the open three from straight away. So Baldwin's got to be careful. Penn State's best player just picked up a oh, third, but a magnificent feed. And maybe that is what can get Zach Hicks going. Penn State's leading scorer entering today has just four points. Lock in on the other end gets two right back. Kern inside. Off balance, finishes, counted on the foul. A magnificent play by the senior. 20 points 24 hours ago against Fordham. Three point, Wiggins has made a couple of threes tonight. Inside to the veteran Ian Shefflin. One-on-one -on -one with Conan Niederhauser. Jones, open three, left wing, kaboom! Celebrated his 19th birthday just two days ago. And on the other end, Ace Baldwin starting to come. When to attack, how to attack, and who to attack is as good as anybody in college basketball. A rare 14 for 14 from the free throw line on this floor over the last two days. As Penn State looks to make that a one possession game. Dillion, oh my! That was tough. Does have a double-double right now. 13 points, 10 assists. Keep in mind though, he is playing with three fouls. Best player on this Penn State team pulls up for three, and he catches in! Penn State takes the lead! Ace Baldwin! Penn State slowing down the tempo, something we're not used to seeing. They're 21st in the country in tempo, but the patience pays off there. This time it's Kern who feeds it to Ace Baldwin. We're used who is coming off of his second double-double this season yesterday on this floor in the win over San Francisco. Chase Hunter drives with authority. Can't finish, but is fouled. No shooter. And that one's five players in the Atlantic Coast Conference who are finishing their career where they... It's a fellow guard, Freddie Dillion. Carter, Hicks, swings Dillion. Oh yeah! Big time three for the Tennessee transfer. Oh, after the next break. Zachary. Feeds the big man Lockin. He's got size. Blocking foul on Puff Johnson. One of those 50-50 calls. There for the big man, Victor Lockin, who finishes the first. And by far the big shooting. Yeah. <laughs> and his free throw shooting has improved from last. From just inside the free throw line, a chance for the Tigers to take the lead with just under eight to go. Chase Hunter thought about it. Steps back, takes the contested three. Oh. Yes, sir! That is a big time shot from a big time player. 95. Kern. Tough shot. He'll have a chance to tie it up at the line. Oof, that looked like really good. A little bit. A little bit there. A season high. And the win over Fordham. Sixty-one apiece. Under seven to go. Where else would you rather be? Hunter is fast. Hunter shook. Gives Clemson the lead back. In and out. Lock-in feeds Shefflin against the double team. Swings it to Zachary. Open three. Kaboom! Big time three for the Boston College transfer. And it's a two-possession lead. He used to struggle from three-point range. Three of 17. Coach Rose despises that shot. 
And a foul on the ground on Penn State. Penn State foul charge. Pretty, pretty good for Ian Scheffler. Points in last night's win over San Francisco in this venue. And now he's got a on the line. Undefeated Penn State. Five in one Clemson. An awesome game. Will it be an awesome finish? Hicks with a massive three to make it a one. Couldn't finish with the right hand. That's the first shot that he's missed this afternoon. What a pass. Lock in wide open. Extends the lead to five. Precious second lane. You'll be able to find it streaming free on the CBS Sports app or cbssports.com slash cbssn. As soon as it tips off, of course, we'll get you there immediately the, after the conclusion of this game. Five-point game, 90 seconds to go here in Daytona Beach. Nice cut from Ace Baldwin. Beautiful feed from Hicks to make it a one-possession game once again. Could have been an and one as well. A lot of contact on that play. No rush whatsoever for the Tigers of Clemson, who lead by three with just more than a minute to go. Shefflin hands off Zachary, right back to the chef. Under 10 to shoot, righty hook shot, good. <laughs> come on, come on, this kid's off the charts. He's got 18, that ties the season high. Under a minute to go, and a reaching foul on Jaden. Press if you're Clemson. And so now Ella makes it. Make or Kona Niederhauser in and out. Four point game. Do you foul here or play it out? No, they're going to play it out. 23 second differential between the shot and game clock. That was good spacing for Clemson, breaking that press. If you're Clemson, number 11, Jaden Zachary, is the best free throw shooter on this team, 82%. Let's see if Clemson tries to get the ball in his hands with under 10 to shoot. Here's Hunter from inside the free throw line. It's short, loose ball back into the hands of the Tigers, and now Penn State has to foul. Now you're fouling, yep, have to. 20 seconds left. Zachary is the one fouled. Two shots here for Jaden Zachary. That was the 10th Penn State foul. Intra-conference transfer here to Clemson this season. Two big free throws. Penn State's got to move quickly. Down six with 10 seconds left. Dillion, the twist, fade away. Too strong. Three seconds left. Shefflin has it. And the Clemson Tigers! With a major foul against Penn State as the buzzer was going off. Wow. Victor Lockett needed to be rounded. is under review. Oof, right in the head. The reason why it was called a. It's an empty lane. Couple of free throws here for Chase Hunter. He was really good. It's this, it'll be, it'll be 17 points. Five rebounds. Him and Shefflin were. Just excellent. That's the best word I can describe. The Clemson Tigers, 2024 Thumbtack Sunshine Slam champions, handing Penn State their first loss of the season. This is probably going to end up being, you know, at worst a quad two, probably a quad two win for Clemson on a neutral side floor. This win for Clemson will matter come March.